well I had to move a bunch of stuff to access some shelves to put this platoon stuff I just did just bought away on the shelves um, so now I have access to my Pikmin stuff and I thought I'd go through the Pikmin stuff with you guys um, so let's do it shaky cam okay so you guys will notice right away that a lot of the Agatsuma uh, figures are out out and about there's the yellow onion the blue onion the red onion secret figures from the third set um, and the secret figures from the second set are actually in the world of Nintendo cabinet we'll get there in a minute uh, so starting from the left we have these straps and hmm, I don't know who made them sorry I was looking at the piece not the camera um, they say 2001 Nintendo there's a yellow one red one and a blue one as always and typically uh, red has the leaf blue has the bud and yellow has the flower and that's just kind of the way it always goes uh, then you can see the big Pikmin 2 bullboard plush from Sine back there you can see a thing of tape from the office supplies and these little office supplies ink pads or something right there um, then you have the pellet posies you can see from I think it was set 2 set 3 I don't know um, you can see the office set that I, I had covered these before before I put them in the back um, and they hold all kinds of stuff they can hold stuff on your desk I thought those were great little things uh, we have a lot of plushes um, there's the Pikmin holding the like bamboo thing Pikmin holding a coffee mug that says Pikmin plush on it and then like a little garden area the little Pikmin has um, these guys are the Sekiguchi plushes they have all three of those there's the yellow and the reds kind of hiding back there and here's the blue and blue got the flower and yellow got a flower and red got a flower on this one they're all flowers I'm not sure if they had the buds and the leaves typically if a company's gonna do um, Pikmin plushes they do all of those um, but I'm not sure those have those um, interesting note on those they're the magnet ones so there's a little magnet right about here where my thumb hits uh, 2001 Nintendo um, so yeah you can gift from Angel so you can post those on magnetic surfaces like your fridge which would be kind of cool there is a promotional keychain of a rock Pikmin on top of a plum um, I have all but one of those see there's a winged Pikmin looks like another plum um, and there's the red one right there with an orange let me see I know the yellow ones around here somewhere yoo-hoo <laughs> um, well he's around here somewhere he's got the um, he's got like a blueberry or something but the the blue one is the most rare in the set I've only ever seen him at like a hundred bucks if I want him it's a little steep for a little keychain um, so let's go through some of the other stuff you see a fiery blowhog back there um, you can see the Takara Tomy art straps. So all the characters in these bags that I have, there's the president, um, are the straps from the Takara Tomy art set. I've never taken them out of the bags, just because they're incredibly rare and they're just really tiny. 
all these are really tiny. Some of the um, Agatsuma things I haven't taken out of the bags, like this bread bug. Um, and some of the bulb orbs. There's another bulb orb back there. The eyes are so creepy. These, um, oh, I'll lose some of them if I pick that up. I'm going to put this purple Pikmin right here. And I'm going to pull this out because these are really similar. I've got three of these. And this has a SS Hokutate ship kind of flat thing. And there's like a little blast coming from that. And then there's a rare Olimar figure along with a yellow uh, flower Pikmin. And the red one has a leaf and the blue one has a bulb. I don't know why that is always the case. I'll look back there. So there's another strap from the Takara. They're really hard to film and show off. <laughs> I, mean, I don't like doing shaky cam much because it's kind of difficult to watch. But um, these these figures are so small and so fragile. The especially the Agatsuma set for how rare they are and how much people want for them these days. They are very prone to breakage. There's a watery fire hog. I've seen a lot of broken ones um, for sale. So these are weird. These little pickable Pikmin. Let's just grab this. Um, I think I've looked at these before. You can just pluck those right out. And then this part can go into like a headphone jack for whatever reason if you want a little Pikmin on your phone. I think they look better in the pots, but whatever. What else? There's this guy. Let's see if I can get the camera back here to show you the tag of what this figure is. So he's not going to bend. i pull it out of there trying to show you guys. Hmm. Can't tell which one that is. Another Pikmin plush. I think it's the Pikmin 2. Well, it's the original Pikmin because that's what it says. So it's one of the original Pikmin plushes sets. Um, so big Olimar, big Louie. This bull board back here has a big. Um, leaf tag on it and I'm not going to pull them out obviously because that would be disastrous but um, you can kind of see that the eyes are are that um, vinyl kind of deal and those are prone to um, peeling as well so you got to be careful with those there's a white Pikmin plush this is the World of Nintendo Jack's uh, winged Pikmin. It calls it a pink Pikmin. A lot of people call them pink Pikmin. I like these keychains. I got these from a guy on the, on the Facebook page a while back. And I don't think they have any information on the back. Nope, just a weird pattern. So there's really no info on these, which is always weird. I don't like no info. It's like, where did you come from? I always like to know, but it's tough. So another set is this Takara set, this um, suction cup set. And there's, I thought there were multiple Olimars. There's only one Olimar, so I have multiple sets trying to complete the, the group. But there's like Pikmin laying down, and there's Olimar. I've got this Olimar with a bunch of them following him. And there's bulbs and flowers and leaves and all kinds of stuff in that set. So, and they also have these uh, pellets. So the guys with leaves are carrying the little pellets from the pellet posies. And I have them going up to the onions because I'm a dork. There's a Wally Wog back there. 
I know I've got a um, a little guy somewhere. Oh, there's the patches from E3 that they were giving out. And this is the Pikmin 3 clock in a can. I have not opened it because you have to open it to see the clock face. But like opening it, I'm just not a fan. <laughs> you guys know if you've been watching for a while. So that's the Pikmin stuff on the Pikmin shelf. Um, if you have questions on anything, I opened up comments again because YouTube's crappy. So we'll see if they yell at me because I'm talking about um, toys and stuff. But you know what? This is for collectors, not for kids. If you're a kid and you're watching this, um, great. But it's more of a collector's channel. We don't play with the toys, we just look at the toys. Um, so I'm going to take you around the room real quick and show you a couple other things. But first I wanted to show you, these are the Jax Pacific World of Nintendo ones. There's blue and there's yellow. And all of them are, that's actually um, Sine's. All-Star Collection Olimar that is different from the original Olimar that they came out with. There's a Rock Pikmin as well. So we have all the types. I know I have a purple Pikmin plush. Yeah, he's back there. If you can see that guy. Kind of looks blue in the light. But um, Then there's these guys here. The pickable Pikmin plushes, so you can pull on those and the Pikmin come out of their little block of earth. Um, and then there's this Pikmin, whoops, there's a Pikmin pin, and there's a little Pikmin charm. And this is a Pikmin Wii promo. And you can plant this in your garden, which is probably dead by now. It says, soak me, plant me, and explore the planet of the Pikmin. And uh, that was a promo for the Wii. I had my hands once on the Pikmin garden. You can see up there the Hokotate ship, SS Hokotate, in the golden version. Um, and I think that is it for over here. Let me just pause and I'll shoot over and show you some other stuff. So this is the Jack specific stuff. There's the red Pikmin, and there's the blue Pikmin, and there's the yellow Pikmin, and here's the purple Pikmin. That's pretty much all they did. Um, there is also... Whoa. Uh, all of them are up here. And then there's whoa, the um, prototype all of them are over here. Sorry for the whoosh. Here is another sort of hidden group of Pikmin items. It's the magnets that And this is actually like kind of the first one, and they all link together, except for this big one here. And um, so they're all kind of meant to be in a little line. And you can see on the Olimar one that it's like 3D, which is kind of crazy to have a clear bit on a 3D magnet or like embossed or whatever you see. And they did it here too. You can kind of tell. And then we're going to whoosh for a second. Um, let me find him over here first. Where are you? Well, here's the amiibo. And then the other amiibo. The Hey Pikmin amiibo is somewhere too. Is it one of those ones? No. Oh, I may have taken it down 
because there's no room anymore <laughs> in the Amiibo. Um, I will try to find it. Hold on. All right, so it was way under here, next to the Splatoon sisters. Hey, Pikmin Amiibo. So that's kind of it. Um, if you think I'm missing something, I feel like I'm missing something. But um, the room's kind of a mess right now anyway. Just because I had to move all that stuff to get to access to the shelves. Um, but yeah, that's all the Pikmin stuff that I can think of. There's, a, there's more stuff out there. There's actually something I've been looking for for a while. Um, it's a set with most of the same kind of figures, but they actually have a mushroom Pikmin, um, which I, I love the mushroom Pikmin, the Pikmin 2. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll ever find it. It's crazy rare. And everything Pikmin is so insane. Um, there's someone on Yahoo Japan Auctions right now that has a set of the Agatsuma um, figures, and my gosh, it's like $1,500 or something they want for that set. Um, typically, if you see like a bulb orb or something by itself, it's like $500. The, um, well, not, maybe not $500, but it's always steep. It's like 100 bucks a piece for the bulb orbs, because those are the rare ones. The Pikmin go for less, but not much. Um, and then the, the ships I saw. So one of them has one up for like $700. I paid nowhere near to that when I was first um, buying stuff on for Pikmin on YJ um, Yahoo Japan Auctions. So it's crazy to think how expensive Pikmin stuff has become. Like I don't envy any collectors trying to collect it now. Even the old plushes are tough. Um, and they don't come up that often. It's pretty rare that you'll see any of this stuff. So like the Sega plushes... I, for a long time, I thought those Sega plushes were rare. I mean, for were were fake because um, the red Pikmin especially is an off color, so you kind of have to be careful about that. But um, for the most part, I had a hard time collecting it because a lot of it's the same. I mean, here's another set of Pikmin plushes; it's all the same. Um, so you have to have like something unique. There's a pouch set up on Yahoo Japan auctions right now from the Sega. Gucci set. Um, they're larger and they have like zip zippers on the back so you can put stuff in their backs and whatever. It's kind of weird. Um, and I like the fabric on those ones. It's like that shiny fabric. Taffeta plush? Um, I keep looking over here because I think I'm <laughs> missing something but I think I showed just about everything I have for Pikmin. Um, so yeah, leave a comment. Just know that comments are back. And then um, yeah, we'll Two more videos. Thanks for watching.